filmik Belulara, który grał od ostatnich dwóch dni w Alpha Dragonflight jego odczucia. Go. Welcome back. Okay, I am here in the Dragonflight Alpha. I've been playing this quite a lot over the last two days, and today I'm going to give you my impressions on all of it. We're going to have deep dive videos and many different topics coming out on the channel over the next few days and as this testing process continues. So, of course, do be sure to subscribe to this channel. We will have a lot of content for you and a lot of gameplay live streams as well of this. So I'm going to go through everything today. Now, the first thing, what is in this alpha? What is not? Well, right now we've got one zone. We've got Drakthir, and we've got a few of the new talent revamps, new systems like no dragon tak. riding. So there is quite a lot to show. Mamy dragon riding, First, mamy Vokera, mamy so this is your span. This tak. is, I believe, zone. the third zone tak. that you get. Such a kraina, w której się leveluje w dragon. So far, I'd say it definitely, man, it's got that kind of like big North Randy feel, which, uh, of course, if you know my history with the game. You'll know that I very much do like that. Ja również, ja również miałem takie wrażenie tutaj, zwłaszcza takie mocne odwołanie, co oczywiste jest w sumie dlaczego. E, I w sumie, jeżeli tak jest, to znaczy, że Blizzard to dobrze zrobił. E, są mocne takie, czuje się nawiązanie do Koldary na przykład, nie? No i, ale no wiecie, niebieskie smoki, tego i tak dalej, to jest to. No i tu wskażę Very obvious here. We are in one of the Kalawak settlements. And one of the things that I think is certainly interesting is like seeing the Kalawak, but be done by... Modern Blizzard, you know, modern art assets, no, modern zamieć. level of uh -huh. quality. It ends tak. up being just a really nice place to hang out. Now, if I hit the C key, you'll bam, here I am, dragon riding. I've got a full video on dragon riding coming out. One of the shocking things that I found in that, there are cases where dragon riding is like double the speed of a normal mm -hmm. flight mount. Tak, to that feels mówi. pretty damn awesome. As in saving money, fajnie. More uh, uważam, że to jest bardzo fajnie. Zakładam, że to nie tylko do tego się sprowadza, ale to jest bardzo ważne, wiecie jeszcze dlaczego? Po to, że jak wejdzie Flying, a Blizzard przecież powiedział, że wejdzie Flying w Dragonflight po tam pewno 6 miesiącach czy coś, to żeby po prostu Dragon Riding nie był bezsensowny. Także ja uważam, że to jest bardzo ważne. But in terms of like just a nice it's normal in Alpha. In Alpha, it's just not normal. I certainly was totally getting what I wanted from this zone. This is, of course, just one small part of it, though. So I'm going to head over, and in doing so, I'll show you like a, you know, it's a, a little bit of the limitations of the base dragon riding system. Um, but anyway, going through here, you do get like a little bit of the Grizzly Hills, don't you? Mm -hmm. Right. So tak. all of that's quite nice. Też, tak, all tak. the things that you would imagine, like the art assets, etc., are beautiful. And for me, what's been great is that I've, you know, I've appreciated Hills, Blizzard's artwork and the likes of Shadowlands, I just haven't cared for the theme, like, whatsoever. So for me, this is feeling like a slice of core Warcraft, but being done up to that super high new standard, it looks and feels great. Even if I go in here, oh, look at this. It's gnolls. And how about I use these gnolls as an opportunity to show you a little bit of Przede wszystkim being a to... And again, there's even just something that's kind of nostalgic about, you know, fighting some gnolls. So no these właśnie. guys, you know, I've got, like, my beam attack. We've got a full deep dive in the works. Me and Matt have been going through this uh, quite a bit. I mean, you know, bam, talents. Whole new talent system, whole new thing to learn. Zajebiś. Um, Przede wszystkim to, że wracamy na tak zwaną ziemię, nie? To, to ja myślę, że to jest to, co jest bardzo ważne, że... Yy, przy, przyziemny, jo, po prostu przyziemny. It's kind of hard to, so like... Traktory dręczy się. Example, here's the new, like, uh, empowered abilities. So when you hold the button, uh, you know, different things will happen. So for the Eternity Surge, I think because those were like little creeps, the like animation didn't fully play, but for Eternity Surge, it like damages more enemies the longer you hold it. For the Fire Breath, it does more damage over time the longer you hold it, but it still has the same single target component. Tak. So uh, it ends up all being like, fun. I have this other ability to tip the scales, which lets me instantly do a fully empowered ability. So I can just go bam tak. and like blast a whole that's, bunch of cool I'll throw down some pyres, no, um, which was honestly a bit silly because that's oh, the ability to use this space. Um, anyway, na... like a little bit of, uh, What I'd say right now with Drakthir is where their strength is, is that they have really cool singular big abilities. And I'm going tak. to use one for you Dużo right now, okay? So, I mean, get a load of this. It's just cool. Alpha is alpha. All right, so a few things. There is a new type of targeting UI that looks like this. So this is like kind of tak, tak, really good information. If I click on that, you know, bam, and I do this really big route. To jest ten root, to jest ten root, e, czekajcie, jest minuta cooldownu na tym, jest. Bo na Wowheadzie, jak to czytaliśmy, to to nie miało żadnego cooldownu tam napisanego. Ja wiem, takie, Jezus Maria, to nie ma cooldownu, to można spamować. Co Now, another cool ability that I've got, one of the ones they were, I think, very keen to show off of Blizzard. To pewnie będzie ten, co leci. Is tak, this. jest. Yes, like, leci. Go, <laughs> right? like, yeah. That's just sweet. But then, Wygląda zajebiście, again, ale jestem I bardzo zdziwiony, że to ma dwie minuty cooldownu. Go back to my original location. 
So that's pretty sweet. I can then use the fire breath, and then I can use the eternity surge. Źle to zagrałeś, nie optymalnie. Mogłeś puścić na wczesnym empowermencie, żeby mniejsze dot dać, bo moby szybciej umierały. Gościu, czy ty się pocisz w ogóle? Przepraszam. While Matt has been doing on the healing spec, and funny enough, he's basically pretty damn glowing about what the healing spec is like. Glowing. So maybe something like the art and the vibes. Here, obviously, we've got the more foresty situation. You saw the more Northrend-like kind of Kalawak guys. I'm not. Północnych okrągłych facetów. Od teraz będziemy to włączać na każdym filmiku. Going ahead into a little bit of a different biome, so I'll fly over to that, and you just see like a little bit more of what they've going on, sort of got going on with the art. Now, this is one thing that I like: nice, big, open areas. That is another thing that I've really appreciated as I've been playing the game. I think a lot of the zones in the modern game, they've got kind of cramped, kind of. Blizzard mówi właśnie, że tak zaprojektuje Dragon Age, że będzie dużo otwartych przestrzeni. Tak. Tak. Nie, to jest prawda. To jest prawda, że mimo wszystko, jakby te zony, jakkolwiek moim zdaniem były fajne w bardzo wielu aspektach przez ostatnie dodatki, to miały te takie trochę uczucie, że są takie skompresowane, że w tym sensie, że w każdym, każdy, każda przestrzeń zona, do której mogli Mogliśmy wejść, jakby miała jakąś funkcję konkretną. Jeżeli było, nie wiem, jakaś budowla, jakaś, jakiś, wiecie, metr kwadratowy, to on był od tego, żeby tu były moby do tego questa, czy czego, czegoś i tak dalej. A w Dragonflight, z tego co widzę, jest więcej takiej po prostu otwartej przestrzeni, na której rośnie trawka. Patrz, Dragon Dragon. Hard to say. There's definitely quite a few cutscenes and things. I know that much because the amount of like placeholders that they show me. Pierwsza alfa, mnóstwo placeholderów. Also, I've not played through it. Co więcej, Blizzard, proszę cię, proszę cię, proszę cię. Ja wiem, że ty mnie nie posłuchasz. Ja wiem, że ty i tak to robisz, ale proszę. Może nie dawajmy w ogóle tych cutscenek, ani cinematiców, ani nic innego. Cinematiców nie będzie, ale cutscenki pewnie będą. Uniknijmy jak najbardziej możemy lor spoilerów. Ale ja wiem, że to się nie stanie. Or music, and those things are pretty big for the narrative experience. I mean, that's that's certainly something we've learned in our own development. So those are really important, and they're obviously not there. Concrete things, moments, in terms of flow and that kind of thing. Look, similar enough to what you would expect. So you have a well, I've actually done it, so I can't see it anymore. But you've got a primary campaign that is through the zone, and then you have loads of side quests. Essentially, the campaign is moving you through the A plot. But that is still a level of value, generally, right? Quest of fleshing out the areas and the peoples. I think honestly, a lot of the nicer stuff is going to be found in the side quests. That's not any knock in the main quest, by the way, and I'm I'm not going to do spoilers right now. It's not a knock in the main quest. It's just for a lot of us, like we just kind of want to see the world be like all built and fleshed out. It's one of the things where even though I had a lot of criticisms of the BFA expansion, I did like Culturas. Uh, at least bits of it. Kultiras. You know, when you actually just felt like that kind of that area was being built out, I thought that was really strong, and I feel like. Bo był zajebisty. Mówcie co chcecie o BFA czy Shadowlands, ach, ja naprawdę będę bronił do ostatniego dechu, że tam były naprawdę fajne krainy. I'm getting some of those same strengths here as well. So there are. I dużo kontynentów w tych krainach jakby takiego open worldowego. Things. No doubt you've noticed the UI is a bit different. This is super work in progress. Yes, UI. I mean, these are the old like style of unit frames. We know that those are not what they're going to ship because they've actually previewed a mock-up of what the plan to make looks like. So there's that. I mean, this we've got our bars. They look a bit different, more compact. Definitely a bit of character has been lost in the art bar. I'll say that much. But you essentially do have like bartender built in, right? So you know that's kind of okay. Very nice. A lot of people are just going to get L for or something like that. But that you can. Słuchajcie, w Wewnętrznej twarzy użytkownika mamy teraz barmana. Dziękuję za miecio, że to zrobiłaś w tej aktualizacji. Do that in the base UI, I think, is pretty damn fantastic. And then now you can see I'm sort of changing, changing biomes into a more frosty place. Again, you know, you're you're getting the kind of pan Northrend thing going on in this. Oh yes, yes. Which is one of the things that they really tried to do with it. So overall, I'll say the slice of the world that I've seen is stuff that I've basically universally loved. The quest thing was fun. The side quests were fun. All that stuff has been really solid. But of course, we do know that World of Warcraft expansion. Tends to not live or die by its leveling or having some nice side quests. For a lot of people, it's going to be the more end game side of things. What I can say is what they're doing with crafting and how that. Choć ja jednak jestem zdania, że oni powinni ogólnie rzecz biorąc dać więcej rzeczy urozmaicia urozmaicających i aktualizujących samo levelowanie. I to nie tylko w tych najnowszych dodatkach. I think that's actually something that could be potentially fantastic. Just as one example. But of course, we've yet to really see the full scope of that content. We don't know what the reputation system is going to look like. Just that they're 
perhaps these kind of like mega reps that are delivered a bit differently. Nie, wiemy, że będzie inaczej. Wiemy, że z reputacjami będzie inaczej, że oni w pewnych kwestiach się zasługę, jakby, że będą na pewno inne i że e, będą w niektórych miejscach bardziej przypominały Renown z Shadowlandsu, że jakby na zasadzie, wiecie, że są te jakby poziomy, nie, że są po prostu, jest cztery poziomy, wiecie, Friendly, Honor, Reverty, Exalty, tylko jakby jest ich więcej i są takie bardziej jakby zrównoważone i to jest wszystko, co wiemy. O tym, ak to akurat to jest jedna z tych rzeczy, o których nie wiem w zasadzie nic. Oprócz tego, że... I mean, here, you basically, if you kind of go towards the left, you'll get the more red spells, the more uh, blue spells are to the right, and you can kind of hybrid around them. If you're kind of going down the middle, you'll no to, almost certainly be able to get two and cap. To tak jak, tak jak się spojrzy na druidyczne drzewka, to też widać na przykład w tym class 3, że tutaj są balansa, tutaj guardiana i tak dalej, i tak dalej. U Death Knighta tak samo i właściwie wszystko. So basically tak. either this or this or that and that. Now, when you go into some of the other classes, it kind of just ends up being maybe playstyle A and playstyle B, like sort of rigid okay. playstyle A and B would be the left and right hand side, and so sort of hybrid down the middle. For some, it's kind of felt a bit like, you know, ale... AOE's that way, uh, single targets that way, and that hasn't felt as great, so... A mi się... A właśnie mi się wydaje, że to nie jest. A właśnie nie. W sensie, tak to było może właśnie w tych talentach do tej pory. Teraz właśnie... Ja bym, nie powie... ja bym tak nie powiedział o tych nowych drzewkach, co tego zrobiłem. You know, there are good okay. things and there are bad things with the talent revamp. Właśnie wręcz bym powiedział, że przemieszane są bardzo rzeczy ze sobą i to niekoniecznie właśnie w dobry, nie zawsze w dobry sposób. For sure. What they're doing is they're codifying things that you've had through past expansion, basically trying to put the greatest hits, hits into this. Now, a pro of that is it basically means no more broad power, no more bullshit. This hopefully should be a nice solid foundation to move forward. W talent tak jest wiele fajnych rzeczy, po prostu, które się przyjęły, na przykład covenantowa ability, niektóre convoke druida. I mean, I like, I like the fantasy of hunter. I have not enjoyed MM since Battle for Azeroth. It's still. A ja uważam, że od Battle for Azeroth to jest właśnie fajny Markman Hunter. Bardzo nie lubiłem na przykład legionowego Markman. Same MM. I'm not going to play Hunter in this expansion. So when there were more regular class revamps and that kind of thing being done, I think for a lot of people that ended up being a more exciting experience, even logging into Wrath for the first time, to seeing your, you know your new end uh, sort of end cap talents, and being like, oh, Titan's Grip, that's a cool new fantasy. W Wodzku nie było też za bardzo revampów klas. Revampy klas to były legendy. Talent system is certainly very work in progress, but it's going to be extremely good for the long term health of the game. It's just, I think, some classes will come up better than others, and you'll get a little bit of that version of that feeling of being powered down because you are, of course, going to lose your Shadowlands borrow power, and that's not going to feel particular. Czy masz alfę, czy nie talenty, są można. I mean, certainly one funny element of these is it's almost like trying to work out the puzzle. It's like within this they have maybe two, three intended builds, and you're almost trying to put that together yourself. And sometimes that can be a bit iffy. But what I definitely do know is that leveling up a class like fresh for a new player is going to feel so much more satisfying with the new talent system. So even from that perspective, I think it's pretty good for the long-term health of the game. We're just going to have to see how it actually is uh, for end game. These are going to be going over so many different iterations. Like they really are. Some of them like I mean, man, feral druids are kind of rough right now. I would say. Um, there's a few examples. I think Shadow Priest also is a little bit rough, and I just have to imagine that those will get pretty major iterations as time goes on. So it's one of those things. There are times when we have to say Alpha is Alpha, but we very much need to not say that when it's like oh three weeks away from launch and oh because we were very. Ah, to true. Yes. Na czym jestem zdziwiony, że wychodzi Alpha, a my nie mamy jeszcze wszystkich drzewek talentów. To jest moim zdaniem wręcz nadal jestem zdania, że jest to trochę niepokojące. Didn't get fixed, right? So. Jeżeli Drago zakładają, że Dragonflight będzie w tym roku. We gotta be proper about things. This is ultimately still the same company that did Shadowlands, isn't it? I guess we're a bit more on the Drakthir then. I'm going to do like a full deep dive to run you through all of their customization options. There are so many. That's right. Ciekaw jestem, czy jakby odpalić teraz filmiki Belulara. Będę trochę złośliwy. Ale ciekaw jestem, czy jakby odpalić teraz filmiki z Belulara, z Shadowlandsów. To czy faktycznie tam będą takie negatywne opinie. No dobra. Pretty my point. There are so many customization options. It is insane. It is absolutely insane how much they have put into the Drakthir. So, like, even in the head, Like every little different area of horns and fins of different varieties you can change. There's like 20 different stouts. And there's even some like armor. Co jak patrzę na te drakty, jak patrzę na te kostumizacje, to jest to przyznam to całe powiedzieć, dobra? Te kostumizacje, co patrzyliśmy na wowchedzie tam ostatnio i te, co teraz patrzę z tych gameplayów, tych lepszych, równiejszych streamerów. To powiem szczerze, że te traktory o wiele lepiej mi się podobają niż e, tych, niż to, jakby to, jak zostały przedstawione na Bliskonie. Macie tak też, czy nie? Armory są zajebiste. Armorami przy traktorach się jaram najbardziej. Świetne są. Zajebiste są. That your dude can wear, because of course, uh, when you're not in, when you go into your um, visage form, that's when you're actually wearing the gear that you're wearing. Uh, this stuff is chosen in the character creator, and I very much hope that they add more of that over time. Uh, but yeah, so the Drakthir, look, 
I think the Wait. classes, like the specs, have been decently fun. It's just that kind of thing where, you know, that feels good, right? That just feels good. This is crazy. Uh, their um, hover, uh, I didn't do it there, but it shoots you forward a little bit if you press a button with it, and then you can cast while moving for a bit. Like, fair, that fair. feels pretty damn sweet. Uh, of course, like, you know, this big thing. I mean, goddamn. That's yeah, just just one of the cooler of abilities in the game. It's like straight up right and that you can then teleport back to where you started i mean there's loads of options probably in terms of gameplay around that um even crazy things like zephyr matt will talk about that in his video but oh man zephyr zephyr it's like a stampeding roar at like it's like i suppose that and, yeah uh, drag termad dużo ale uh, weź ty pokaż ten soul it's kind of crazy um there are pokaż certain some elements where, like, some ability. of their buttons just don't feel super great yet um and essence which is their resource system you can see essence here i've, I've actually brought some free essence like, uh -huh. the essence abilities don't feel incredible to use, so I just think uh -huh. essence feels like just a tad weak right now. Um, so I'd like to I'd like to see that get fixed up. But they do have cool abilities, cool ideas. Uh, on, to, on tam miał jakiś prog, no to co mi strasznie przypomina te uh, Icelands, uh, Frosta. We kind of just need to wait and see where it ends up. Um, it's very early. I guess they have the components there for an absolute banger of uh, of a class. That's totally true. And funny enough, actually, no. um, whenever I logged into this, I it recommended not to make a drag here for my first character. It just said, hey, this is like too advanced for you. So that's kind okay. of interesting. I suppose to be guiding new players away from the... Ale jedno, co mi się wydaje na ten moment, możemy już sobie powiedzieć. Tak mi się wydaje. To jest to, że jednak ci ludzie, którzy e, wieszczyli, że drag że to będą drudzy demo hunterzy i dwa przyciski do klikania i tak dalej, nie mieli racji. Probably just because they don't want to maybe get them overwhelmed. Certainly, like as you're trying to parse your way through the talent tree, there's like a lot of competing things and just sort of like little sub gameplay niches. To give you a quick example of one, like there's charge blast, cost two essence, and mm -hmm. basically whenever you do a zero strike, which is this like kind of AOE. Uh, Mi się wydaje, że to dlaczego, bo zakładam, że to też na live'a planują przenieść, że jak się będzie tworzyło Draktyra, to będzie ostrzeżenie, że no to jest trochę zaawansowana klasa. Mi się wydaje, że tutaj chodzi przede wszystkim o to, że to jest hero klasa, która zaczyna na wysokim poziomie. Mi się wydaje, że to głównie o to chodzi. I po prostu jakby nowy gracz wchodzi do WoWa, tworzy Draktyra, bang, ma któryś tam level i nic nie ogarnia. Ma zestaw abilitów, z których nic nie ogarnia. A jak się, jak levelujesz sobie postać i po kolei się nie uczysz i tak dalej, to po prostu masz bardziej... Przy, przy level boostach moim zdaniem też powinien być taki ostrzeżenie. Have a 40% chance to reset its own CD, yes. or uh, make it uh, just have an AOE component. So that's like two different kind of vibes of that ability. Or if you go away to the other end of the tree, you've got Firestorm, which is just like uh, an AOE damage circle thing, that then can proc from Living Flame, which is like one of your main fillers. So that's just like sort of two different flavors of, of uh, like a little side loop. I suppose you can choose when you're in that tree. Może się mylę, ale mi to na pierwszy rzut oka nie wygląda mi to jakoś super bardzo przekomplikowanie w stosunku do innych klas. Mi się wydaje, że to bardziej chodzi o to. I mean, the other cool thing, I mean, man. So... Po czym to wnioskujesz? Przecież da chadnie tylko dwa przyciski, raz wszystkie. Tak, tak, wiem, 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 wiem. Zoom. These guys. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Mam to. I suppose you can choose when you're in that tree. I mean, the other cool thing, I mean, man. Yes, yes, the sword. Just an ability. Sword, just like zoom. Okay. These guys actually get like their own little version of dragon riding. And it feels great. You can only use it once every five minutes, but what's crazy is uh, you can even use it like when you're out in the regular world. Oh, that may just... Something weird happens in that building, like it boops you out of it. So, I kind of went through a lot of... Check out it. But where is... But where is this time of this? What is it? It's cool, but where is this time of this? God damn it! Zajebiste! Ale z drugiej strony, jak człowiek sobie to rozważy pod tym kotem, że ale my od razu też dragon riding będziemy mieli, to to w sumie aż tak zawsze. Bardziej mnie to ciekawi. Yy, a nie, a, ha, 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 ale pamiętajmy, że tego można też używać tylko na zewnątrz, tak zwanym. Outdoors, czyli zakładam w ogóle, że instancjonowany content jest w ogóle wyłączony. O, ciekawe, ciekawe. For my first impressions, I just want to give you like a whirlwind, uh, you know, like a. I don't know, like those. Nie, like... Na pra... wątpię, że... nie, na pewno to na Battlegroundach nie będzie działało. Na pewno. Nie ma szans. Nie. Old snacks that rich people eat at fancy events. Is it... I forgot what you call them. Anyway, <laughs> those, uh, right? Like just a, a mm -hmm. little, um, a little run through everything. So I'll do some professional stuff. Well, Here's blacksmithing. So whoa. there's blacksmithing gear. Whoa, 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 right whoa, 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 whoa. Hammer that has uh, no stats on it, but it does have a crafting quality, and uh, then two accessories. But this is evidently not done. I'm assuming, yeah, this, this assuming is... that where my no. mouse is now is supposed to be some form of talent tree, but that ain't in yet. Nie wiem, mi się, mi się wydaje, że to już jest skończone. Nie wiem, co oni tutaj jeszcze mogą wsadzić. Dla mnie jest wszystko jasne już. Mouse is now supposed to be some form of talent tree, but that ain't in yet. 
For the recipes, though, I can show you a little bit. Czechka so, talentów w profesjach. Ku mamy to, ku macie to jakiś czas odłożyliśmy. Here's one thing: essence of tear increases crafting skill by 30 when used in a recipe. So then, if I was to make these PVP starter arm guards, you can see that normally, I could make those with, uh, you know, with with the two star, which is item level 272. If I add in the essence of tear. That actually doesn't add enough crafting skill for me to make it. No, tak. To jest ten finishing regent, który zwiększa szanse na to, że to. to, to no, czytaliśmy so, o tym ostatnio. I'll just have to increase my crafting skill and maybe earn some talents once they're implemented. So it's an interesting little system, Przegadza very different fajnie. to what we've had in the past. Here's an example, like making a blacksmith's toolbox. Now, here's a good thing. So two stars there, but here I have uh, this is tyrovite ore. Okay. But you can see it has bronze, silver, and gold quality. So if I. No, tak. Są różne poziomy jakości. Regent. Bronze one here. You can see that it decreases all the way down to where this now will be crafting at a bronze quality. But if I was to add the higher quality reagents and then add this essence of tear, I'd actually guaranteed craft that at gold quality. There is, of course, then also the chance of inspiration where you can basically just create a higher crafting level. But the one thing to know is nice is that the RNG there. Um, Basically, like once you actually level up through it. Dlatego, co nie wiedzą, co chodzi, Blizzard udostępnił cały taki post, gdzie szczegółowo to opisuje, jak to ma działać, na czym polega to stety się dało. I'll do the deep dive soon, but my first impression is is good. There is more intricacy and depth within the actual crafting process. To na pewno. Though, I'm still interested to see what does the end game economy look like. What is the? Po tym jak zobaczyłem, to przeczytałem to, co mówiłem, to bardzo, bardzo się zajarałem tym systemem profesji w Dragon Quest. Just people making shit with resources they get for free Ta, on a test tak. server, right? Because that is that is pretty damn different. To so prawda, I mean, to for prawda. the first to słuszna uwaga, że Peter to jest jedno, ale jak to się rozegra, jakby na ekonomię ten. To, to, That's to kind of where I'm at. I'll, I'll summarize things and I'll, I'll give you my best thoughts on where things are going. Because remember, I have not seen four of these zones. I've not done the starter zone for the Drakthir. I haven't seen the main city. That's not in the alpha yet. This is a super limited early alpha, but Ta. apparently, from what I've heard, Blizzard actually intends to test. In bite-sized chunks that are more focused, mm -hmm. uh, which will mean they'll get more targeted feedback that is more actionable. I think that that is absolutely fantastic. To, to jest that to, co było, że ten, że każdy jakby zone, każdy chunk jakby kontentu po kolei będzie po prostu alfowany, że tak powiem. More useful beta than ones in the past, where it's just these big monolithic builds full of so many things. At least this way, they can actually get targeted, actionable feedback. So uh, I'm really hoping that that's going to be good for the development process. I know one thing: this is supposed to come out this year, so it's bloody well going to have to be good. Because they do not have the most time in the world to actually test this thing. No. Okay. Playing this class, I've had a bunch of fun. This zone, I really love. It is just beautiful. It's beautiful. It's it feels like Azeroth, you know. And for me, that's a pretty big thing. The World of Warcrafts. I mean, to be honest with you, that it that it has been lacking. You know, has it really felt like Azeroth? I mean, Shadowlands, obviously not. BFA, I think, was shining when it felt like Azeroth, but they kind of. No, to tego. <laughs> Znaczy, okej, okay, sorry, tutaj wiadę Czepialski, ja, który obraża innych twórców, jak zawsze i tak dalej, ale to z tego, co on mówi, wynika, że już od lat tak nie czuł, ale potem z tego, co powiedział, wynikło, że w zasadzie to tylko przy Shadow Lacach tak nie czuł, ale to jest oczywiste, bo Shadow Lac nie są w Azerów, no bo BFA, tak? A... W Legionie zakładam, że też. They've started getting all weird with the lore and taking the characters in bizarre directions, and weird things could still happen, that is absolutely the case. To jest akurat coś, co można by się kłócić, że ma miejsce od samego początku World of Warcraft, a na pewno od Burning Crusade, ale to jest znowu to są czepiające się. I mean, this is Azeroth. That's, that's good to me. So in a way that Bastion and all those places were just not giving me the core Warcraft fantasy, this can give me the Warcraft fantasy. Um, I mean, seemingly nobody's home, but like we got the Tuskar back. And okay, to jest, to jest dorobiona filozofia po prostu do tego, że w Dragonflight się po prostu znowu, tak jak przy BFA z Legionu, my znowu po prostu schodzimy na przyziemne. I, I tam już dorobiona filozofia z tego, że to tam śrele, morel, Warcraftowa, zaletowa. I mean, with Zandalar and stuff, that all felt like I think a bit alien. I think it was like kind of a bit rocky. Actually, BF had like both, okay. No, yeah, I just yeah, that yeah, that completely. With BFA, like it wasn't really super alliance versus horde. Like it wasn't as much as it could have been. Like it wasn't parts, but I just I just don't feel like they've done a great job of delivering it like the core Warcraft fantasy. I don't know for whatever reason. At least here, I actually feel more of that. Now we have to see how story and all of that stuff goes. But on that side, I'm feeling pretty good on the track. Here, I'm feeling pretty good. We need to see how it goes. UI, I think it could be really good, but it's just not done yet. Not even close, so we just oh, we need to wait and see for that one. Overall, my thoughts are leaning toward positive. I think that this expansion could end up being like more of a, you know, a solid 7, a solid 8 than like something that's crazy and blows people away. Dobra, to jak ten dodatek się skończy, to w Shadowlandsach też było mówione, że było tam. I tak dalej. Dobra, to ten już segment sobie chyba przeskoczymy. 
to so we can check out Nordam. Uh, you know, I think it wouldn't be responsible to uh, kind of make all this like alpha hype content before we really know how it's going to turn. Dobra, 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 dobra. Okay, no, okay, spokojnie. To, 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 to ciekawe, powiem szczerze. Sam będę czekał na tym, na to, aż będę po drugiej stronie bycia równiejszym, <laughs> prawda? I bycia na Alfie, miejmy nadzieję, że będzie też niedługo.